Greetings everybody, this is Gray Spartan again, ready for another gameplay commentary. Coming to you straight from the map of truth, and I actually have a special guest here with me on this one. I uh, actually went and played with Duquesne23, which was an incredibly fun guy to play with. Really nice guy all around. Um, I think we do end up winning this match, but uh, really fun to play. And honestly, uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait for Halo 5 Guardians. I don't care what anybody else says at this point. They could hate on it, whatever else. It's like, uh, you know what, whatever. I enjoyed Halo 5 Guardians. I loved playing it. It was so much fun. Um, it was balanced for the most part. A few things here and there. But other than that, man, I had such a good time. And once I get the matchmaking system ready and uh, fully operational... I am going to be spending a lot of time on this game. Now, a lot of other people out there are probably complaining. It's got Sprint. It's got Thruster Pack. It's got this. It's got that. You know what? That's fine. You know what? Because the best thing about this game is that if you don't want it, you can play custom games without it. And it wouldn't surprise me, honestly, if they end up having a classic playlist where it just sets up and has everything off and you can play classic mode uh, for all those super competitive guys out there. So it's there. It's there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, I'm going to have a blast playing Halo 5 Guardians. There is no doubt in my mind. Uh, just based on the beta alone, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I can't wait to play it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just just super excited and super depressed at the same time. Uh, because it's not coming out for another 26 weeks and unfortunately Master Chief Collection is uh, yet again yet again um, uh, I had another update uh, April update uh, content update and it brought back I think some old issues uh, sometimes I mean I don't know how about you guys are but for me uh, sometimes I have to try to restart the build about oh I don't know uh, three, five, six times in order for it to actually start up and I can actually play online. Um, that's happened. Uh, what else has happened with this content update? Um, I think uh, a couple times it's just kicking me out of matches, but I think that's still part of a thing. I don't think they quite nailed that yet. Um, but they have brought ranks, and unfortunately, uh, resetting everybody's rank, which means I've had some really really rough matches where I'm just going against players that I really shouldn't be playing with uh, but what can you do man what can you do there's nothing uh, at this point in time that we can do about this um, uh, Master Chief Collection is actually I think to the point where even Phil Spencer I mean just today apologized I think to Sutta. I think it was to Sutta. And he apologized directly to him about Mass Chief Collection. And I can't blame him. And what I'm thinking right now is that somebody probably is getting their ass chewed without a doubt in my mind. It's like if Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, is apologizing for Mass Chief Collection, somebody's getting their ass chewed for this. <laughs> I mean, I really don't want to be a negative person, but you know what? That's just the way businesses are, where if the boss has to come out and say, you know, we know this is an issue, the team is working on it, but behind the scenes, he's making some calls. He's saying, probably somebody's saying, you know, if this dang thing doesn't work, somebody's not going to be having a job next week. You know what I mean? I think that's probably what is going on in their mind. I, I know. I, maybe I'm maybe I'm over exaggerating it, but honestly, Phil Spencer uh, apologizing is is very significant to me. I think that was actually pretty pretty amazing that he takes the time to do that. But at the same time, you know, when he's got to do it, it, there's a there's a real issue that needs to be fixed and quick, fast, and in a hurry. So. We have that going on. Now, like I said, uh, well, actually, I kind of wanted to bring up a recent video made by Yam Juice, And he basically said, uh, and what is the video's title? 
is Halo gone or is it done? And in response to that video, I kind of got inspired to do this. And uh, to be absolutely honest, no, no, Halo is not done. It's not gone. Uh, all the Halo YouTubers out there that aren't making any content right now, which I am partially guilty of. Uh, I still make fairly regular content, but not a lot um, because it's been so hard. It's been frustrating, and I feel the same frustration absolutely all the other ones feel at this point in time. You know, there is no doubt in my mind that we all are feeling this. But he made this content, or he made this video, and like I said, no, it is not gone. It's not done. Halo is just, it's its going to be around for quite a while. Microsoft is investing a lot of money into it. And I think Halo 5 Guardians is going to be what I've been calling for quite a while is, is the Empire Strikes Back for Halo games. Now, a lot of you may or may not agree with that. Um, but I believe it is going to be the Empire Strikes Back. Means it's going to be the best in the series. And... Just looking at what we got now uh, with the Halo 5 uh, beta, what we've played and exp uh, experienced, that's just the multiplayer. That's it. That's just the multiplayer. But I have a feeling the campaign, now I know a lot of the competitive guys just don't care about the campaign or the story or anything like that, period, which is fine. I mean, each his own. But there is that other side the campaign is just going to be absolutely incredible at least i'm feeling this i'm thinking that it is going to be a a really dark story it's going to be um something incredible to behold go through and experience what it looks like we're going to be able to experience is two sides of the same story that's kind of what all the hunt the truth stuff is going on is we're going to see uh, agent locks and of course uh, master chief and probably blue team and whatever agent locks team is uh, i think it's going to be something it's going to be something incredible to behold and to see what this whole story is going to come out to be now again we don't know we don't know how it's going to play out is agent lock actually going to try and destroy master chief are they going to destroy each other or, or do their best to and just part ways or, or whatever I mean we don't know it's gonna be something uh, something pretty actually awesome just to see it all come together and that's the first thing I'm gonna do I, I really I love multiplayer I really do I spent most of my time in multiplayer but I have to play a campaign first have to have to have to I want to know what the story uh, story is where it's going what's happening what agent lock why is this this split going on between Oni and, and the Spartans uh, as I think that's probably what's gonna happen is the Spartans are just uh, gonna kind of split up and say you know that chief is pretty much right and I think Oni's just doing a smear campaign because they're trying to cover up some stuff I mean who knows who knows uh, I can't wait I can't wait to find out what's gonna go on and what's gonna happen uh, and of course don't forget dr. Halsey She's still out there somewhere. She's working with Jill Madama. Uh, who knows what she's up to? Uh, she could be really causing the UNSC and Oni specifically some major, major problems. But can't wait to find out. I don't know about you guys, but Halo isn't done. I'm excited for Halo 5. And hopefully you guys are too. But you know what? Whether you are or not, I'm going to be playing it. I'm going to be having fun this winter. I don't think I'll be playing a whole lot of anything else. Um, nothing else is really on the horizon that really has me excited. Um, but I'll be there. I'll be there. You guys are more than welcome to join me. This is a crazy Spartan. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like. And, of course, subscribe for some more Halo action goodness.